So what, we got to make another video. What are we going to do? Oh, God. Another one? Okay. Let's brainstorm. Hmm. Okay. Well, we talked about doing recipes that we all love to do on the boat. We could do that. Yeah. We can show it from home. So I can do my famous tomato pasta. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do, David? Can you do anything? I'll, yeah, I'll do quad coffee. Oh yeah. yeah. Coffee, my favorite in the morning. And then we can get other people to, to submit videos of them cooking stuff. Perfect. And Carter, what are you gonna do? I wanna see uh, how many times I can bring up in this video that I'm vegan. I actually had lobster yesterday. Yeah. <laughs>so you saw how we came up with this cooking idea and we asked Deborah to videotape herself and give us some instructions and now we're going to try out the recipe here on the boat and you guys can try it out at home let's see how we do all right let's go so we'll watch the video on here I already put it on iMovie so it's easier to watch okay there she is in her kitchen Buy it on the set. Buy it on the set please Hi, I'm Deborah from The Impossible Dream. When I am a guest crew member on The Impossible Dream during our summer voyage, one of my tasks, as is every crew member's, is to cook meals. So my best meal, and the one that is always requested from me, is my pasta with fresh tomato sauce. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's really simple. All you need is some kind of pasta. We prefer spaghetti fresh tomatoes, kosher salt, very important for your water, cracked red pepper, because we like a little heat, and lots of garlic. Oh, oh, oh. Sauce drawer. Oh, there's our kosher salt. Yeah, that's good. Unfortunately, this is the only thing on the boat that's probably not accessible, unless you have extremely long arms. There you go. And I don't know if you can see it, but behind me, there's a basil plant. And we always have basil on the boat. It's a thing of Captain Will. We're gonna keep her alive, and she's gonna give us tasty basil. So now this is how I prepare the tomatoes and the garlic. I like my garlic whole in my food. So what I do is I take the garlic and I crush it. And that makes it really easy to peel. Hopefully I don't stab my hand. Seems to have worked. Yeah. Which, it's fun also to get your aggression out. The other way you can crush it is if you have a jar or anything with a flat end, just go like that and that's it. That was a little violent. And then I always have a bowl near me wherever I'm cooking that I can throw things out. And the reason for that is because your hands get kind of gooey. And for us in wheelchairs, any movement we make, we're using our hands on our rims. So it's a good, if it's right there, you don't have to move around to try to throw it out somewhere. Then I take my tomatoes. I always use the smallest possible tomatoes, not cherry, but there's um, a kind called Campari. These are plum tomatoes. I cut them in half is the way I do it. And you'll see, I don't parboil them to take the skin off. I have my own way of taking skin off while I'm doing it. And really, this is about all the prepping. Okay, I'm gonna get out the paint. Ugh, gotta get way down for this. Ta-da. Is it going? I didn't hear it. Yeah. We're ready to use the olive oil. It's at a medium heat. I put in the Kraft red pepper. I think it works well that way because the oil kind of absorbs the flavor and the heat. Our stove on the boat is an induction stove. It goes up to nine, so five should be pretty good for a medium heat. Sufficient? Looks good. Just olive oil smells good. 
Nice. Here you go. I sauteed my garlic and then I put the tomatoes in. As you saw, I cut them in half and I put them in face down. Is I always put a wooden board, a light one, on my lap. So that way I can take this pot, it's on my lap, I take it over, takes a little bit of time, and that way I feel safe. And even if I have to take a hot pot sometimes, I put it on a wooden board. I get this a little, a little over three quarters because the more water, the better the pasta cooks. When we're in clean oceans, we use half salt water and half fresh water because we're also always trying to save fresh water. We'd love to have a water maker, but we don't yet. Normally we'd be using seawater, but definitely not at the dock. We're gonna wait till we're out in the middle of the ocean for that. And I put a, you put a nice bit of salt. Pasta should always be in really well salted water. As these tomatoes get soft, I can take my tongue and I can just pull the skin off. Looking beautiful. Okay, actually, I have never tried to skin a potato, I mean a tomato before. Oh, but it's surprisingly easy. Just wow. like she said. Deborah speaks the truth. Again, I think Deborah has cooked this for us. A hundred times. On the boat, yet obviously I never really paid attention. As seen on TV. This is not your grandmother's sauce that you cook for days. This is like one, two, three, hopefully. The important thing about pasta is it should be al dente. What al dente means in Italian is tooth, um, it's for your teeth. It should be chewy. Pasta should always be chewy. So when the water boils, I'm gonna put in the pasta. We're just waiting for water to boil and you know what they say about watching boiling water. So I'm gonna try to distract myself by maybe having a sip of wine. Water is boiling, and you get your pasta in there. The important thing about pasta is to stir it all the time, and also to time it right. So this package says eight to 12 minutes. So I am gonna set my timer at eight because you can always cook it more, but you can't cook it less. And the other trick is, depending on what pot you have, as much water as possible, because more water makes it less starchy. We have a great set on the Dream. Um, it's called Magma, and it's a set of about five pots. Each pot fits into the other, and it's every time I get them in the drawer and closed, <clears throat> I think it's a miracle, and it is. Ta-da! Now, when you're in a chair, and especially if you're by yourself, to take a pot of hot, boiling water and put it on your lap, you can't do that. So what I do, and it works just as well or better, I just take my tongs and I pick the pasta right out of the bowl. If you're using a shorter pasta, like a rigatoni, you can just do the same thing with one of those big spoons with the holes in them. So the water will go through and you could do it this way. And this, especially if you're alone, it's really safe. I actually learned this from an Italian friend. Just stir the pasta in the pot Get some bowls, Alex, bowls. 
I've got help. And voila, we serve it and we eat. Table set. Bon appetito. I hope that this summer I can cook this for you on the impossible dream. And yum, 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 ready to eat. Cheers. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Wow, yum. Only problem is anybody who thought I was ladylike before this video is gonna have a rude awakening. Cheers, thank you, Deborah. And uh, anybody out there at home who wants to send us a video of uh, cooking your favorite dish, cook something up and post it on the Facebook. This is probably our most organized drawer on the boat. You can find everything you're looking for in a millisecond. That one needs a That was a joke.